everyone, this is Chef Before Sean. Today's recipe is called hot shrimp and soy sauce. Let's go ahead and start this recipe. You can find all the list of ingredients in the bottom of the video as usual. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put oil into the pan. And um, I'm using just like two, two tablespoons of canola oil. To this we're going to add the shrimp. And I'm doing this on um, medium high flame. Lay the shrimp in the bottom of the uh, pot. Then I'm going to lightly season this with salt. Like a quarter teaspoon, not, not even that much. Um, the reason why you don't want to add too much salt is because this has a lot of soy sauce in it. So you do want to add a little bit of salt to keep the shrimp from being bland. And then lightly sprinkle it with the uh, black pepper. And I'm just going to um, make sure all the shrimp is on the bottom of the pot. You can do this in the wok too, or a nonstick skillet, whatever you use. And I'm just going to let this cook and then for about another minute I'm going to flip it. The idea is to just cook the shrimp until it's um, completely um, no longer translucent in color. It's going to turn a pink color. So. Um, we'll be back once I flip the shrimp out there a minute and it's completely cooked. So the shrimp is done and you're just going to remove all the shrimp out of the pot or your skillet, whatever you're using. And we're going to set it aside. Add about two more tablespoons of oil. And um, I've julienned um, the yellow and red bell pepper. So add the Julian yellow and red bell pepper. And a Julian onion. And you're gonna cook this until the vegetables are to your liking. I'm gonna cook this for about three minutes. Okay, now that the peppers and onions are done, I'm gonna remove this and give this uh, pot a quick clean and then we're going to cook the broccoli and add the ingredients. But before I cook the broccoli, I'm going to um, make the sauce. Here in this bowl, I mix together two tablespoons of cornstarch with a quarter cup of water. This is going to be slurry. You're not going to use all of this. In the bowl, we're going to add, this is soy sauce, water, Sugar, sesame chili oil, ground ginger, and rice vinegar. So mix that together and then we're going to um, make the, the remaining of the ingredients to complete this dish. Then to this, I'm going to add the broccoli. Stir fry this for one to two minutes. I'm using broccoli florets or broccoli florets. Now remove the broccoli from the pot. Okay, now I added the sauce to the pot and I'm whisking it to make sure everything is dissolved. Then add the garlic. Whisk this. Make sure everything is well dissolved. Then the slurry for earlier, which is the coarse parts in the water. Just make sure you stir it, just to make sure nothing's um, floating at the bottom of the bowl. Because cornstarch and water has a tendency to separate. Okay. 
You're only going to add enough of this to thicken the sauce. You're not going to add all of this. So the this. Allow it to come to a boil. You'll see it's going to, it's actually pretty thick now. I'm going to add just a little bit more, just to thicken a bit more. And that's perfect. Now add all of your ingredients back to this. The shrimp, broccoli, onions and pepper. Give this a stir, turn the heat off. I'm going to stir this to make sure the sauce coats everything very well. And I'm just going to plate this on top of my white rice. Just add a couple pieces of the shrimp as possible. And try to arrange everything on your plate neatly as possible. And some of the red peppers. Just with the contrast of color. And now I'm going to drizzle some of the sauce over. I'm going to um, clean the plate up a little bit. Just for the sake of uh, presentation. Garnish this with a little bit of uh, parsley. and uh, sesame seeds. I hope you guys try this recipe and enjoy it. Please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and also visit my blog. And subscribe to me because now I have new videos coming every Wednesday and Saturday. Remember to live and be well, do all you can to stop all bullying and abuse.